Okay, so the 1980s, famous for many reasons. One, the music. Bands like Duran Duran, Wham, Buffon Hair, Drain Pipe Trousers. Not to mention Rubik's Cube. Who could forget that? But for me, the 1980s, whole other memories. So today, I'm going to show you how to make an iconic 80s snack. So, for our 80s style retro toast spread, that bears a lot of resemblance to a very popular 80s product, we're going to need some ingredients. First of all, we are going to need about 50 grams of butter, about 200 millilitres of milk, one chicken stock cube, some flour, um, and then depending on what flavours you're going to make, um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show three different types that we'll make here. Um, we're going to need some um, diced bacon, just slice bacon up, the yeah, raw bacon, um, some ham, diced up nice and fine again, some chicken, or cooked chicken there, again, sliced up and diced nice and fine, some cheese, standard cheddar cheese, all good, uh, and some mushrooms, um, and that's pretty much it. That's what we're going to need to um, to, to get this uh, retro dish underway. Okay, so let me show you what to do. So for the base, um, which is going to be the same for any flavour that you do, okay, so this is always going to be the same. What we're going to first of all do is going to get our 200 millilitres of milk into a saucepan. Pop that there, get a flame going in that, and we need to get that. It doesn't need to be boiling, um, it just needs to be very hot. Okay, so we need to keep a little eye on that and get that nice and warm. Every now and again, give it a little bit of a stir to stop it burning so um, it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. And that is going to be the same for um, across the board for whatever flavour we do. So, while our milk is um, simmering away then now nice and warm, we're going to make up the flavour mix. Now, the mix to the, that's going to make up the flavour. So, we're going to make three different flavours. We're going to do bacon and mushroom, chicken and ham, and ham and cheese. And it's exactly the same process for all of them, okay? So I'll show you the one, and then you can literally, um, you can figure it out, okay? The rest of them, it's the same thing, but with different ingredients. First thing we wanna do is get our, um, our butter melted away into our frying pan. And now once that's melted away then, um, we shall add our ingredients. There we are, so our butter is now melted away uh, pretty much in the, in the pan. So we're gonna, first of all, we're just gonna add our bacon, okay? All I'm doing, one rasher of bacon here. Diced up into nice small dices. Into the butter. Then we've got some mushrooms, okay? With the mushrooms, we're, we're not gonna have them. We're just, get a handful, crunch them up, look. Make a bit of a mess of them. Throw them all in there so they're not huge, big chunks of mushroom. They're just ripped up. There we are, and we can throw them into there as well. So a mushroom, and then turn the heat down a little bit so it's not, uh, we don't want to burn it, like I say, we just want to cook it. What we'll do over here then, get our uh, chicken stock cube, and we just want to finally, just get that into a powder, look, and powder that butter, and that mushrooms, and that bacon mix, or let's give that a bit of a shake. There we are. So that particular one now is uh, underway. What we'll do then, get a, a plate on top of your frying pan and leave that there just to cook and produce all this own natural flavours for about three or four minutes. Right, okay, so our, um, our mix now of um, mushrooms and bacon has been cooking under here with the butter and the chicken stock cube. It's been cooking in that pan now for about three or four minutes, okay? So we're gonna take the lid off this now with the plate you're going to get loads of that flavour coming out. You're going to smell it straight away. Wow! Yeah, it smells pretty good. It's taking me back to the 80s already. What we're going to do at this stage now, and this again is the same for each flavour that you're going to make, okay? We're going to add to this now two teaspoons of flour, about that much flour, okay? Twice. There we are. Two good teaspoons of flour into there. Mix that in. So you get a big paste going on now. There we are. Got ourselves a nice big paste going on there. Okay, if it's a little tiny bit too runny, you don't want it too runny, you can just add a tiny bit more, just another half maybe, just to get that consistency right. There you go, that's about it. Okay, and there we have it. That is our flavour mix, ready to go. And what we're gonna do now is pop a lid on there, 
leave it cook under its own steam again for about another two or three minutes and then we'll move on to that next uh, important stage of adding it to the milk. So back to our milk base now. Okay, so as you can see, it's not boiling, um, but it's just very hot. Um, so you can turn the heat down a little bit on that now. This is the stage now where we incorporate our flavour stock over here, whichever one you've done. Um, it doesn't really matter whether you've done the bacon and mushroom, chicken and ham, ham and cheese, whatever. It's all the same, um, just with different ingredients. Okay, so get this flavour mix now. It's going to go straight into the milk. There we are, tip it all in there. And what's going to happen now, because of the flour that's in that mix, as you stir this, and make sure that you do stir it, okay? Give it a constant stir. Um, it's gonna thicken up. Try not to spill it everywhere like I just did. Yeah, quick wipe up. And we just keep going now, keep stirring that, and that's gonna thicken it. Now, this is the point now where you wanna add your cheese to it. Um, okay, so, I mean, however much cheese you want, I'm gonna have, hand, add a nice good handful of cheese there. You don't wanna go over the top with it but uh, just enough to give it a bit of a base. And there we are. That milk that mix is thickening up. Lovely. Smelling pretty delicious as well. So I shall leave that to cook away, clean my stove, um, and then we'll move on to the next stage. Our mix um, has now been cooking on the stove. I've left it cook for about five minutes, so the longer you let it cook, the more flavor is gonna get into it, okay? It's thickened up quite nicely. If you fancy it's a bit too thick, you can always just throw a splash of milk in there if you want to, but this should be okay. Um, what we're going to do now, I'll just show you our consistency on this. Okay, there we are. That's round about where you want that to be. Nice and runny, no, not too runny, but you know, just um, a nice thick sort of paste. All right, what we'll do now is we're going to put that into a container and you can let it cool down. Don't need to put it in the fridge, just let it cool down to room temperature. Paste has been cooling down now um, for about 10-15 about minutes at room temperature. Okay, so we've made all three pastes. Uh, we've made the bacon and mushroom, chicken and ham, and ham and cheese. Okay, so we're going to show you one. Well, I'll just use the bacon and mushroom. I'll show you, um, you know, the, the, the paste, what it should look like. Okay, as you can see, I can tip that now. And it's making a slow progress to the edge of the bowl. A bit like a, like a lava flow. There we are. Okay, so that's where we want that now. Bit gloopy, but very spreadable. All that's left to do now, get that on some toast under the grill and get it tasted. So what we're gonna do, and um, put a bit of toast here now in the toaster. We're just gonna get both of the sides of that toast toasted and then we will um, spread our um, toast spread on top of that and get it in the grill. There we are, so our toast is um, nicely toasted now on both sides. Okay, so what we're gonna do is basically just spread this on top. What we're going to do is to get it all into the corners, okay? So make sure, because when you re-toast this, you want to make sure it's all covered so that it doesn't burn when it goes back under the grill. So make sure all the corners are done. There we are, spread that onto our toast. Like so. Put as much on as you like. Um, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter how much you put on there. Obviously, the more you put on, the longer it's going to take to um, to cook. Okay, so we're just going to get that now under the grill. So under a nice hot grill, um, keep that under there, just keep it aligned, it, okay? It's going to start bubbling, and you'll see it going a little tiny bit brown on the top because of the cheese that's in it as well. Um, once that's done then, you can pull that out, and uh, we'll get it tasted. So all that remains to do now is to get this tasted, and our official taster, um, for this is Danny. Okay, let's see what you think. Try that, boy. Okay. Yeah, flush. Yeah? Yeah. Great stuff. Okay. Can I have a bite? No, it's all bad.
There we are. Retro style 80s toast spreads. As popular today as they've ever been.